Hey, we're Kaser, and welcome back to the Simpsons Tapped Out. We've got the Dog Deeds update in the full swing right now. This is the second act. Of course, there are four acts in major events. We've got a Santa's Little Helper Balloon. This is a very, very strong hint as to the premium character that I'm going to be getting in this act. So each act has a premium character. And this one is going to be Elaine Wolf. It's a second character with the Dognitive Behavioral... Therapy Institute. Every four hours, 135 and 15 XP respectively. Obedience rating. That makes sense. Obedience, animals, dog. Standard of 150 donuts. Alright, so let's see if I can place it where I normally place things. At least it starts. It's not looking so good. It fits. Unbelievably. Yep. Elaine Wolf. Heads up! New character. Kaboom! Hey, it's What's-Her-Face! I prefer the company of dogs, though, compared to humans, I think I'd even prefer the company of pit adders. Elaine Wolf. Pit adders? Is that a type of snake? I know adders is a snake. I see you, Elaine! But this is... this is... this is what she owns, I guess. It's a very nice building, very fancy. It's clearly her own house that she's dressed up, I'm thinking. It looks like a house. So before we tap her, we're going to tap this building. We're going to hear what it sounds like. Common sense, she has things with animals, usually dogs. I think maybe mostly dogs. Let's go with dogs and we're going to go with nice calming music. Because that's very relaxing. Therapy is, I'm assuming, can be relaxing. I've never been to therapy. I'm not sure, but that's what I kind of think of when I think of that stuff. Here we go. <laughs> Interpreting dog nightmares. Oh, that makes sense. Because in the episode, Santa's Little Helper, spoiler by the way, if you haven't seen the episode, he has doggy nightmares. And that is why they bring him to her to figure out what's going on in his coconut. By coconut, I mean brain. Welcome everyone. My name is Elaine Wolf, and this class is Why Your Dog Is Better Than You and You Should Feel Bad About It. How soon are we getting to dog discipline? Because my dog is peeing on the carpet. And did you tell your dog that peeing on the carpet was wrong? Many times. In a language that your dog understands? Well, English. So, you spoke a foreign language to your dog, and then punished it for not understanding what you said. I feel horrible. Somebody put a choke collar on me. That's a good way of looking at it. So let's see if she can fix Lenny's dog, and also Skinner. Oh, I forgot she's gonna go to the building. Where is it? Do I have time? Elaine? Okay, we have a little bit of time, so I think that the lights will turn on. I didn't have time, and there's doggos. Two cute doggos. There was another building that we had in the first act where the doggos poured out of the building as well. It's so adorable. So of course I was trying to blow the lights, but that's pretty much what anybody would say. But because I was pressed for time, I didn't really have time to really think about it. You would think after doing thousands of videos like this, that I would remember to actually think of what the animation would be first, before rushing it. But yeah, the lights you turn on, we've got doggos pulling out of the front. And then we've got the gate open as well, which I really like. It's a very, very nice building. All right, let's meet your dogs to see what we're working with here. This is Mr. Barksworth. Bark, bark. And this is Principal Bow Wow. Bow Wow. They say people look like their pets, but it is really striking with both of you and your pets. Eh, I don't see it. Anyways, this is Sir Lixalot Von Chewington 3. Lix. Ugh, 
I detest liquors. Were they actually in the show too? I know there's been a couple episodes where the Simpsons family were actually dogs and it was like a short stories thing. It's possible that those dogs were actually in it. I think, I think they were. I think they were. I know the Homer one was. It's possible the other ones were as well. But examine the dog doppelgangers. I love that. Have you all been slowly changing to look like your dogs? Not me. I don't look anything like my dog, Belches. Oh no, what are we going to get here? Ah! Belches. I call him Hooch. That's enough. Class is missed. But I wanted to see more doggos looking like their owners. So we get our first animation run from this dog nightmare. I'm trying to think of what that would be. Is it possible she's running away from her thought bubble? We've seen a few animations like that in the past. I'm going to go with her running away from her thoughts. You can't hide from me forever. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's thinking and she's having a nightmare. Oh, we have fireworks also. What else we have? More fireworks. Waiting for a third one. Fireworks again. We got a vacuum! That makes sense. So we have fireworks, vacuum. What was the third one? That I remember. Oh, I think it was thunder. So dogs obviously don't like loud noises, which is why we got the vacuum and the fireworks and the thunder. Waking up in cold sweat. Ah! It was just a dream. Just a dream. Everything is fine now. Bad dream, eh, Elaine? Ah, a me dog! So that is it, everybody. That is the full walkthrough for Elaine Wolf. It was a dream the whole time. Oh, I wanted to see more doggos look like owners. Although we did get to see what she looked like in doggo form at the end, which was kind of neat. So we've seen one animation, right? Which means she should have another one. Let's see. I feel snossage water. Analyze dognitive behavior. That could be it. Run from dog nightmares. Okay, it definitely is. Read dog therapy book and research dogs around town. Well, my game crashed on me, but I'm back. Analyze dognitive behavior. Are you going to your building? It looks like it could be it. Analyze dognitive behavior. I don't know what that would be for an animation. Maybe a whiteboard or something. Oh yeah. So clearly there's something going on there. I think there's a dog or something there. Well, let me, uh, let's see, let me hide the track. Where is the track? Down below. Okay, we got, we got twin doggos. At least a black and white one is a twin. They're playing with the little ball. Oh, they're so cute. So is it just the brown one that picks it up? Yep. So yeah, like I said, that is a full walkthrough for Lynn Wolf. I really liked the quest line. I thought it was really, really fun and entertaining and seeing the different owners look like their dogs. And the animations were fantastic as well. Even the building was great. I love the fact that there's doggos that pour out of the front door there. The only negative is that they are not voiced, but I know that they are voiced by a very popular celebrity, an actress. I want to say it was Kate Blanchett. In fact, I'm going to look right now because I don't remember, but I know it's somebody like that. Hmm, let's see. Looking, looking. Yeah, so it was, it was her voice. Just like I thought. Let me know down below, though. What do you think of Elaine Wolf? What do you think of the animations and, and everything that I just mentioned? Like... Comment and subscribe for more tapped out videos and I will see you with more premium characters and more in the Dog Days updates in the near future. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.